Hello Udemy, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakespeare.com and welcome in lecture number 19. Today uh, we are continue, we are going to continue our previous lecture uh, so uh, you can uh, easily understand what's going on and uh, what we are going to talk about. So first of all, uh, you have deleted your record from the database using Ajax. Make sure we are working on e-commerce series and I consider that you have the basic knowledge of uh, JavaScript, jQuery, JSON, Coding Nighter and Bootstrap also and some styling stuff like CSS and HTML. So I consider that you have the basic knowledge of these before starting this series. If you are watching this series that uh, you have to familiar with them. So you have deleted first of all then this is the category. So if you remember, you have the image also, but you have deleted the record. But what about your old image images or images which is uh, in the server and docs and e-commerce assets, images, categories. So this image is already exist or this image is still exist so if you are deleting something from the database you have to delete the images also so how can you delete these images so first of all you can pass so here is your all categories first of all your all categories and you can pass uh, your old image in this sections or since you are receiving the ID here so you can easily get the image from calling a method for suppose you want to fetch the image uh, against this ID for suppose I'm saying die this first of all <laughs> I am saying this mod make sure admin mod admin and I am saying uh, get image okay get category image okay you can pass the ID C ID okay so now you are calling this method but you have to create this method also inside your model so here is your CID and I'm saying I'm saying DB DB select because I need a, a CDP means I need a image I'm we are chaining here I'm saying from the the category where cat and I'm saying this is give me the result as a array okay so now I'm saying where the CID equals to CID you are receiving CID and now you are receiving as a array so so this is your array first of all your old image okay so you can war dump here old image and now refresh the page hit the delete button you can see you are receiving the image phone.jpg so what you need to do you need to check uh, either the result is coming or not it's totally depend upon you how you are uh, defining or how you are creating or designing your logics so I'm saying if because uh, it's array so I'm saying if it's empty and this is count equals to one then I'm saying 
old image zero because this is the array okay i am saying c d p c d p so i am saying this is real image so this is real image okay so you are receiving the image then what you need to do uh, if you remember you where uh, so this is your sections copy this sections paste this section here and i am saying if this is not empty and this is a set then where is the path you have to specify the path also so here is the path so your path here so i am saying this is the path and this is the real image so if the image is exist also delete this image so now go to your section refresh the page so since you have one two three four images inside your category folder and you have a single entry so now delete the button successfully delete it go to your pages so now you can see you have only three images so you have successfully deleted image also from the folder and from the database so first of all you are, you have you have deleted but how can you manage this uh messages i am saying if you delete if you delete this message i am saying data and i am saying what is the return type just a second i am going to explain i am saying return type is true and i am saying message and i am saying this is the message this is the message but in this case i am saying echo json encode and i am saying here this is the data first of all go to your js section and now you are receiving the data you need to parse because uh, this is the array okay you are converting your associative array into json format so now because this is your php script and now you have to parse your php script into your uh, javascript code so how can you do that i'm saying json json dot parse okay so i'm saying data so now i'm saying console dot log and now you can i'm storing this information inside here i'm saying and data for suppose and data so here is your variable var so now and data you can delete this data okay so you can copy this bad boy paste this bad boy here and you can just copy this message paste this message here in this time you can see it's a false okay you can also specify the uh, value is not exist here okay so you can redirecting uh, these values to here so now add your category for suppose phones first of all okay add your category with phone where is the phone 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 okay you can add this image okay for now add you have added and now you have this image and you have this image here so now hit the delete button you can see you are receiving the 
object uh, which you have parsed here now you have to check now here if and data dot return equals to true then do something otherwise check if you are receiving else if and data equals to false you are elsewhere okay so now I'm saying please add I'm adding this class inside the TR sections I'm saying uh, C cat okay and now I am concatenating with this so we can easily delete this okay so now I'm saying when you have you when you receive the true from the backend means you have deleted your entry then what you need to do I'm saying that please ID since we are receiving the ID also dot fade out okay and what about your messages where you want to show your messages for suppose go to your all categories and you can create a div here and I am saying class uh, error for suppose for now error and I am saying please and data dot message and data dot text so here is your message first of all and you can add this message here and this message here or you can say something something went wrong something went if you are receiving some errors you can also specify here so now refresh the page okay add your category something okay refresh the page you have category delete button and data is not defined where is and data oh so this is not and data this is and data okay refresh the page you have deleted because okay just a second add so now refresh so now you hit the delete button you can see you have successfully specified the message and you have successfully deleted the element and you have successfully deleted the image also and you have successfully deleted the entry from the database also so in this way you can create or design your system so it's totally depend upon you and your need or what you want to design and what is the requirement of your project so i think this is enough for today and uh, we have now added our categories we have edited our categories we have deleted our categories and uh, if you remember uh, uh, now we are going to move further and in the next lecture we are going to create our products and our models and uh, our specs so thank you for watching